12 ways you're drinking water wrong. If you went several days without drinking water, you'd be in a world of trouble. But the idea that eight glasses a day is optimal, well, that's soggy logic. In 1945, the Food and Nutrition Board of the National Academy of Sciences claimed that the body needed two and a half liters of water a day, which is actually 10 cups of water a day, even more than the widely referenced eight without, citing a clinical study. Not only did people take this recommendation as fact, they also ignored the next sentence. Most of this quantity is contained in prepared foods. From the looks of it, it's clear that we're a culture obsessed with getting those eight glasses of H2O a day. But while ensuring that you're adequately hydrated is important, how many of us view hydration doesn't quite jibe with what the science tells us. In this video, we are gonna go over the most common ways you could be drinking wrong and overhydration. Welcome to our channel. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click the bell symbol so you don't miss any future videos we upload. And if you've already subscribed, thanks for your support. Without any further ado, let's get to the point. Using bottles with BPA. BPA is short for the chemical bisphenol A. It's used to make lots of products, including water bottles. But research shows BPA can get into your food and drinks. There's also concern that too much exposure can lead to birth defects. More research is needed, but experts think the chemical might also play a role in some health conditions. These include high blood pressure, hormonal imbalance, type 2 diabetes, and cardiovascular disease. Opt for water bottles that say they're BPA-free or made with glass or stainless steel. Believing the cold water myth. Cold water doesn't narrow your blood vessels or make food harder to digest. It's an easy way to cool down and hydrate when you're hot. If you have a cold, warm water will help thin your mucus, but that's about it. Forgetting to grab a glass upon waking. If you aren't drinking water in the morning, your metabolism is likely taking a hit. According to dietitian Lisa Jubilee, MS, CDN, one of the easiest and cheapest ways to give your metabolism a jolt is to drink 20 to 32 ounces of water, which is 2 to 3 cups shortly after waking. Why? During sleep, your body's metabolic function slows, and your body just went around 8 hours without fluids which are essential to hundreds of metabolic processes. Jubilee suggests rehydrating before stressing your body with any other food or drink. My clients who have implemented this report less bloating, more energy, and a smaller appetite, she says. Adding sliced fruit or veggies. It may make your water tastier and more refreshing. But if you're not careful, it can also fill it with foodborne illness like salmonella and E. coli. That's because when the rind isn't clean, slicing into it moves bacteria to the flesh. Fruit and veggies sliced on the same board used to cut raw meat can also lead to foodborne illness. So can items not stored at the right temperature. Be sure to wash or scrub fruits and vegetables under running water. Not drinking it with alcohol. Alcoholic drinks are diuretics, which means they trigger your body to make more pee. And peeing a lot can lead to dehydration. To avoid this, match your drinks one for one. That's one glass of water for every cup of coffee or alcoholic drink. Not downing a full glass with pills. Don't just drink enough to get them down your throat. Use vitamins and medication as an opportunity to hydrate. Drinking a full glass of water also helps keep medicine from getting stuck in your esophagus and irritating it. It helps your body better absorb water-soluble vitamins, too. Drinking it when you're tired. You don't always need coffee to stay awake. Not only should you drink plenty of water during the day to stay hydrated, but you should also reach for a glass when you start feeling groggy. In fact, even slight dehydration can significantly drain your energy levels, explains Polinsky Wade. That's because your brain is made of 80% water, so your mental abilities and functions seriously depend on it. Sip on a glass, and mental flexibility automatically improves by 14%, according to a recent study. Adding anything artificial. It's fine once in a while, but doing it every day isn't recommended. Research suggests artificial flavorings and sweeteners may put you at higher risk for type 2 diabetes and cancer. They can also make you feel hungry more often. Try to avoid anything with sugar, high fructose corn syrup, aspartum, or sucralose. Use lemon, lime, mint, herbs, or cucumbers instead. But don't forget to wash them first. Not reaching for it when tired. Feeling fatigued and don't know why? It could be a sign of dehydration. You don't have to be sick or exercise hard to get dehydrated. 
you lose water every day through basic body functions like breathing and pooping. Not taking your time. A glass or two of water is fine, but don't wake up and chug a gallon. There's no evidence it kickstarts your metabolism. And you don't want to drink a lot before bed and spend all night in the bathroom, either. That disrupts your sleep. Sip slowly throughout the day instead. Experts recommend no more than 1 liter an hour. Drinking out of rivers or streams. Natural water sources may look clear and clean, but many things can contaminate them. This includes toxic plants, animal pee and poop, and illegal chemical dumping. Treat natural water with filtration tablets or water filters before drinking. Not drinking enough. Your body is mostly water and uses it in many ways. It helps digestion and can ease and ward off constipation or trouble pooping. It also flushes out toxins, stops kidney stones from forming, and hydrates your skin. The recommended minimum daily amount is 11.5 cups for women and 15.5 cups for men. How much water does your body need? Specific quantities are hard to prescribe because different people have different hydration needs, says Dr. Cardin. Athletes and pregnant women will need to drink more liquids. Additionally, people who sweat more will want to hydrate more. And certain medical conditions, such as diabetes or heart disease, may also require the intake of more fluids because some medications act as diuretics, causing the body to lose more fluid. But there's a simple way to determine your hydration level. One of the best methods to check for proper hydration is urine color, says Dr. Carton. You are well hydrated if your urine is colorless or light yellow. If your urine is dark yellow, you need to drink more fluids. Beware of overhydration. Overhydration is most common during endurance sports such as marathons. It can occur from consuming slightly less than one gallon of water in an hour. While rare, an individual who drinks excessive water while exercising, typically over a period of hours, can release too many electrolytes in their urine, which can lead to a low balance in the body's sodium levels. This is called hyponatremia and can be life-threatening. Symptoms of hyponatremia include headache, nausea, vomiting, confusion, double vision, trouble breathing, cramping and difficulty breathing. Seek medical counsel if you're experiencing any of these signs, says Dr. Carden. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. If you have any question regarding daily water intake, please share your concerns in the comments section. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing health-related videos. Thanks for stopping by. See you in the next video.